Hey guys, we put this video together to kind of give you a nice little walkthrough of the installation process for Revolution Rich Craft content, and as you'll come to see, it's not too complicated of a process. So if we navigate to our Revolution Rich Craft downloads from source, we will see our 1956 Chevrolet Bel Air, and from here we can navigate to where we want to put this file. The location of all Beam mods that you will add in is User, Documents, Beam and G Drive, Mods. You'll see inside the mods folder we have both a repo and unpacked folder. Repo is where BeamNG Drive stores mods that you subscribe via the in-game repository. Unpacked is for an easier time for us to work on files as creators. So you don't need to mess with either of these folders for installing our content. When it comes to installing Revolution Racecraft content, it's best to just create your own folder inside of mods. This is for ease of updating avoiding any conflicts with any other existing mods, and it's just overall more organized. We'll go into Home, Create New Folder, and we can just call this Revolution Racecraft. From here we can simply navigate into our new folder and drag our .zips into this folder. Make sure to always keep these in a .zip form. Do not unpack them as they will lead to other issues and will not run properly. Now that you have your .zip inside the Revolution Racecraft folder, within Beam Mods, you are ready to go and this is all you need for the installation of our content. If you're wanting to update any of our Revolution Racecraft files, you can simply go into our folder and delete the .zips that you're wanting to replace with an updated version that's from us. What you do not want to do is drag and rely on replacing. The reason that you don't want to do this is because relying on Windows to replace will a lot of the times leave out files that need to be changed and will break a lot of mods. So just make sure you stick to manually deleting and moving. If you have a lot of mods, you can always just delete the folder and recreate a new Revolution Racecraft folder and from there put the new updated mods within. I would also like to make an important mention that you need to be on a legitimate copy of BeamNG Drive from an official source such as Steam on the latest version of the game. Many issues with conflicts between our mods and broken issues are a result of this. And overall, it's not a great thing to pirate. Support our developers and creators and run an official copy of the game. I hope this video cleared up any questions that you guys may have on the installation and updating of Revolutionary Scaff content. And as always, we always chat and I have a community on Discord where you can find us there for any other questions or comments that you might have. Have a good day, guys.